You are now listening to Short Stories and Poems, brought to you by Take It Easy Tiger. Today's short story and poem is entitled, Never Quit. For my brother's birthday, I ordered some duck in Chinatown. He loves that stuff, and to be honest, I was happy to provide that joy for him on a special day. Side note, if anyone is celebrating a birthday so far, Happy New Year. Please make it a good one. Alright, back to the story. Okay, so while the lady was packing the food, I asked if I could take some fortune cookies. And her response was, take as much as you want. Now, I know everyone takes the cookie for the fortune, but personally, I like the taste. But this time, they tasted kind of stale, so I just had one, which read, never quit. This is what actually inspired this short story and poem. Now, every day I feel like giving up, just throwing in a towel and calling it quits. Washing my hands and calling it done. I mean, life is tough, right? Especially as a creative and artist. Especially if you're woke and know how hard society wants people to fail. But for some reason, I just keep on going. Maybe it's my faith. But to be honest, I can't really call it. There are millions of people each and every single day who decide to quit. And here are some reasons why people quit. Number one, patience. Now, this is not in any order, but I believe that many people aren't patient enough. Since social media was born, many people have compared their lives and definition of success to other people's life and successes, which is a terrible mindset to have. Now, you wonder why so many people are depressed and sad nowadays. Many people believe that they deserve their success yesterday and have lost track of just working and knowing their dreams will come out in due time. Number two. Laziness. This is a serious one. I don't know if this is a pride and ego thing, or maybe this is just a bad habit, but laziness makes people quit. They get too comfortable with their lives, their living situations, their jobs, and even their friends and family. The definition of laziness is the quality of being unwilling to work or use energy. I say this to say many people are set in their ways. Shit, you might be one of those people. Number three, distractions. Have you ever had a goal or dream and something got in your way? Maybe it's your friends asking you to go out. Maybe you're distracted by a girl or guy that you're attracted to. Maybe family's pulling your arm. Or maybe you have children. All of these plus more can play as distractions in your life and steer you outside of your dreams and endeavors. Overthinking can also play as another distraction. This is a serious one because you can't blame anyone else but yourself. Number four is faith. People who don't have faith normally quit when things get too hard and never stick with what they first started. The minute things get difficult, they throw in the towel and play the blame game for why their dreams failed and haven't come to fruition. Don't be one of these people. Failures. This is another serious one. For one, failures are not the end all in all. The key thing to remember here is that lessons are just a blessing in disguise. They're there to teach you something, and if you are still living and breathing, keep in mind that you are not a failure. And there are several successful individuals, including public figures, celebrities, and more, who have failed before they finally broke through. If you don't want to live in regrets, then never quit. Remember that you will only live once, ever. Just once. With this being said, fight for your goals and protect your dreams. Tomorrow isn't promised to anyone, and you need to remember that every day. Never quit. Take it easy, Tigers.